This past November, I had the privilege of making my fourth year thesis film at UNC School of the Arts. The film is a showcase to the talents of many, many filmmakers who worked on it, coming together to work in the most seamless way possible. And in 2006, somebody made the mistake of giving my sister and I the family camcorder. So how do you go from making films like this? I like big bananas. To making films like this? Let's find out. We're basically gonna look at every film that I've ever made and it's going to be a fucking train wreck. I've got everything compiled into folders based on the years that they were created. Oh no, okay. When do I get the camera? There's a moment, this is like technically a home movie, but at one point they hand me the camera. Hi, Merry Christmas! Everybody, hi. Um, if you're watching this, I accidentally de-uploaded That's fucking classy. Are you happy for me? No. You happy for me? Happy. There's my portrait. No one, no one appreciates my comedy, apparently. Hey, Popsy, yeah, good just news. let me have it. Stop it, yeah. yeah come on, you gotta get, on, you gotta get the action. Again, I was just annoying everyone with the camera, and no one enjoyed it. I don't want to look at any more of that one. That one's just, a, that one's just awful. This has to be the oldest actual, like, film I had to make. Daniel, come on, we gotta clean up. What? Shot vertically. I don't want to clean up today. All right, just wait. Haunted baby doll. Audio's out of sync there. That's good. Eat me. <laughs> Dude, did you just hear it talk? It's just one of those voice boxes, probably. I mean, all it said was, ah, feed me. Yeah, I think that was you. Are you, are you filming? Yep. So I'm gonna go. Here. I didn't even cut out the beginning and the ending of the clips. So... What was I doing? That's enough of that one right there. And he's gone. I think I said shit when it happened, because I thought I broke my train, so I think I went, holy shit, but I was a kid, and I didn't want my parents to know I said naughty words, uh, and so I, I contemplated for like a week uploading that or not, but I, I, in the end, determined it was muffled enough that you couldn't understand what I said, even though you absolutely can. <laughs> I did animations. Give me the weapon. Throw me the idol. No time to argue. Throw me the idol. I throw you the whip. This next sequence, man, I was super proud of this. I animated the boulder at two times speed, or at half speed. So every frame of animation for Indy is two frames. There's movement for the boulder. Digital media. In, in junior year of high school, I started a, a film class called Digital Media. Just me holding it. Now that I'm not, that I'm going to college, maybe I can. That's my roommate. That's actually my roommate currently. <laughs> let's let's watch. Okay, it. sure. If that's how it's gonna be, fine. Oh my god. He was my friend, David. Jesus Christ. And he made a choice. Look, Carla. Shut up, Michael. Someone pointed out that I'm just flailing this fake gun around, and if I had a real gun, it would be like it would be heavier, and also I wouldn't be flailing it around. That video was so, I, I, I was convinced that was gonna be like, like top tier quality. A lot of these projects we're gonna look at aren't done. They're just in whatever state they were at when I gave up on them. Is this behind the scenes from the Zombies Project? And I, is he fucking coming at him with a screwdriver? We, that was the thing we did that year is we used a lot of like real weapons. Um, like the guns are fake. Clearly, they're airsoft guns. So he's getting the machete. There could be people around, and that's a real sharp machete. Okay, so this was the idea. So you could choose an adventure with any of these characters, and then you would choose, and then you'd, yeah, you'd, you'd click these annotations right here, and you would uh, choose what to do, and it would lead to these branching paths. And we got as much as you're gonna see here today done, and never did anything else. Fiddlesticks. Thanks for picking me. It's a classic. Owen is food. What does that mean? Nice, uh, nice cameraman in the reflection. And the rest of it's just black. And it's, it's, it's a minute of, of black. I don't know why. Hello? James, where have you been? I expected you home three hours ago. What worked? And this is what you do now? And you have any thoughts? 
for this film, which is my big, big end of the year project. It was about the class. It was like a, it was like a Parks and Rec office style show about the class. That's the entire First Amendment. The school thinks they can chip away at it and destroy individuality. I'd like to see them get rid of that. I wrote it in permanent marker. I liked this one. I mean, it's not good when you look back on it, but it was like the best thing we'd made, I think. That's our principal. That's the actual principal of the school. So he goes into this scene with no beard or anything. He walks through the door and he's got this beard on his chin. Because we shot this like months apart and we just didn't, we couldn't keep up with all the continuity. It was the first time I think, I think I was happy with this project when it was done because it was the first time I had made a long thing that was finished from beginning to end. It was at least, it was competent. Filming in Progress was the first film and Filming in Progress 2 would be the sequel. But we had it be kind of a spiritual successor because we couldn't get all the actors to come back. So we made it about the upcoming class. This one's actually pretty decent. It's shot well, it's edited well, it's acted well. You know, it's not, a, it's not like some amateur uh, filmmaking going on. It's like actually we, we gave effort, we took the skills we learned from school and we, we applied them here. Hey campers, sorry to interrupt, but let's try to keep about 100 feet between ourselves and the waterfront. Okay. This guy right here, Eric oh, Hartley, the greatest man I've ever met. And he's just funny, he brought this character to life, he actually saved this project in a lot of ways. And it inspired another film, which we'll get to later. They dress up as the Three Stooges. Great. What and it's he great. Is? Like, there's some subplot about he... both want to be Mo. No, 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 no. This is so it's ridiculous. Me, huh? Yeah, it was just a fun little thing we did. And it was good. It was... It was a great, it was a great exercise to do over the summer. Where this was right when Pokemon Go was coming out. What's up, you Snorlaxes? Ah. My name is Chet, but you can call me the Pokemon Master. Team Mystic for the win, baby. So sweaty. He's such a sweaty person. Why did I think this was good? Fucking, he's got a giant, he's got a giant stinger on his dick. It's so stupid. Oh, where's the bit with the lobster? Matt, look, look, we bought a real lobster. It's fucking, the, there's a, a, a fly lands on it. It's so gross. I don't know why we did it. Night terrors. Oh, ready for a top tier joke? He shits his pants. He sh Did you get it? He shit his pants. <laughs> and like, this is when it starts getting, you know, it starts actually getting coherent. It just becomes. Put the fucking phone down, Mary! I told him not to scream. I told him not to scream fuck out in my neighborhood because I live with a bunch of old people. I was like, hey man, can you not, can you not do that? Because everyone, someone's gonna hear you and call the police. Eat shit. This one is great. Ben Fisk clones himself a bunch of times and it's just chaos. I've got things about the plants. Ah! I've got plants, plants, toenails. Who are on the plants? It just became chaos. It's just funny shit like that. Like I, that's one of my favorites from, from that year. Uh, Cause I made two other big films. This is when I started making bigger scale projects. Um, the first one I made was a sequel to Filming in Progress. So it's the third Filming in Progress film, but it's not Filming in Progress 3, it's a spinoff. It is Ronaldo. It's about the, the camp counselor character. We hold ourselves to a higher standard when it comes to safety, meaning no camper will be haunted under our watch. You know, again, having more of a budget, having, being able to put more, more effort into it. I, that's the mug. I actually have that mug still. Jesus. He's a camp counselor, but at night he dresses up as the cryptic deer man and it causes him some strife with staying awake, staying up all night doing that. Well, there he is. There's deer man. It was hot as hell, by the way. This was the beginning of summer. He's got like layers of these faux fur pelts on and he's just such a team player. Every time we would we'd end a scene, he'd take it off and he was sweating buckets. I'm very proud of this one still to this day. It's one of those projects that like kind of is evergreen. I mean, it's got some technical issues to it, but what short film doesn't? Um, I was very proud of that one. The reason I wanted to make this in the first place was to look back on that journey. You know, again, that journey from beginning to end. Where do you start? Where do you go? What is this? What's the process to getting there? Looking at my most recent work versus looking at my earliest work, it's really neat. I think that's something that's really cool um, to talk about. You know, I want to find, there's so much more. I went through like, I went through a dozen laptops. I had to, laptops that are covered in malware from doing so much dumb shit as a kid, just like torrenting games and stuff like that. 
just a little kid with with, with hopes and eventually they they follow through yeah so thank you guys so much for watching uh i know it's been a while since i made a video i'm so sorry you've made it all the way to the end that's really cool you got to see the whole journey uh until next time see you guys I expected you home three hours ago. What worked?